Okay, this is a preview of the nearly new models Jolt dart holder. As you can see, I'm using a master key lock system to hold it in. And this is a stripped down Jolt. As you can see in this uh, holder, it ain't moving nowhere, unlike the other 3D printed Jolt holder I have. This is holding in place and mainly makes it good for using as a front stock or a front grip so it won't fall off your gun. I notice I got this master key too far in. I don't want to have to pull it too far out. And it works. It's stable. It's really hard to knock this thing off. It doesn't go back and forth. Now that shaking you hear is that one direction. It goes really quick off. There's almost no friction or holding it in place. This end piece is a little strange like you were saying and with the master key system here it fits in and it goes off pretty quickly uh, it goes off a little too fast i also wouldn't mind having a reverse tactical rail so i can use it without the master key system but i know you want it to fit in really tightly and it does pretty well not going back while letting you pull it out fast that is kind of handy um as for this if this is a stripped down jolt, like I said from another 3D printed uh, bid. As you can see on the side of the demolisher, I've got this sucker right here and it pops right on. And the main reason is this is a stripped down jolt. There's nothing else on it. Just a stock jolt, this ain't fitting on it. I tried, I couldn't jam it on. This is a really tight fit. Now, now that it's on, it does, ugh, there we go. Now it comes off. But it is a pain in the butt to get this on. And I know that's intentional. Um, like I said, I like the reverse tactical rail one. Maybe just to give it a shot for, for a person that wants to leave the gun on there. Um, as for the one that slides off, it's a nice idea. Like you said, the end's kind of strange. Um, it comes off a little too easily when you push forward. I do like the fact that it locks when you try to push the other way. So it makes it a good front gun. Um, nothing else besides that. The darts... If they're official elites, then you're kind of snug. I figure they're kind of like your cylinder, cylinders uh, for your seven shot cylinder for your hammer shot, which I'm going to try later. These fall in and out. If you go too far and it's tight, it's not so long that you can't just knock them out. Suggestions? After you say you fix the ends, make this part a little thinner so someone can stick it onto one of these guys without removing too much. You may also have to mold it to... The pieces here, if that might be too much of a pain in the butt, that's up to you. You can just tell them you have to strip all the pieces off for it to work. Um, it's a great idea, but it just comes off too easily forward, and I'm afraid it'll, like, right in the middle of a fight, if you're shooting it. Now, I'm not telling anyone to use it for a rampage, but for something like this, it might be okay. But you're almost telling the person you're going to use this at any moment. And for most cases, most people are going to, in a, in a Human versus Zombies War are going to slip like six clips in a Molly gear setup. So they won't need that so readily to come out. So maybe make it, I don't know how you could actually work on that so it doesn't come out so easily. But with like a twist it comes out. I don't know if that's worth your time to work on. But that's my first appearance or preview. Uh, tell me what you think.